What's up party people? Android Stud here and I have the beautiful, beautiful Galaxy S24 Ultra. And I wanted to show you how to install the white stone dome glass for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, a couple things about this device. It does have that new anti-reflective coating on the device. So most likely this screen protector is going to, you're going to lose that. So you got to pick or choose what you want. So I wanted to let you know about that in the video. Second of all, I wanted to thank Whitestone Dome for sending this over. I'll leave links down in the description so you can pick this up. I'm going to show you how to install this, how to have it looking pretty, how to have everything working well, including that's right, the fingerprint. Even after we put the Whitestone Dome on here, we're gonna get this fingerprint working perfectly. I'm gonna show you some, some tips on how you can get it going. This is in that titanium gray, beautiful color. But let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna unbox this and get it going. All right, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and turn off your Samsung Galaxy 24 Ultra. We're gonna go ahead and power that off. That way you don't have any issues. You don't have any disruption, anybody calling you, texting you, whatever it is, and you turn that sucker off. The second thing I'm gonna do is if you do, I have the anti-reflective screen protector that I got from Samsung that I'm not crazy about. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. All right, so Whitestone Dome pretty much gives you two of everything. And except for the the jig here or the guide for you to install your Whitestone dome. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install this pin holder here at the top. Okay. And you pretty much know the top here because that's where the pin holder goes and you just kind of snap it in there. And then you're going to grab some of these absorber pads. Okay. And they're going to go here on the sides and on the bottom. This is so that it soaks up the any excess glue that you comes out when you're installing the Whitestone Dome so that you don't have any problems. So these go down here and then you get one that goes down here. You could probably go this way. That's why the arrow is there. So you could stick it to the side here. And this is very easy to do so you put it right there and then you place that down and this what this is going to do this is going to cover the sides of your device so you don't get any glue in them okay and there's a couple on here obviously that's the most important because you have the type c port and the pin then up here you have some microphones over here you have some buttons and the antenna on this side over here you don't really have much so we won't worry about that too much Once you do that, you're going to wipe down your device and then you're going to put it in here into your guide and this is going to pop in here very easily and you want to make sure that you pop it in correctly so that it's secure. You'll see there on each side it'll have like a little tab that to make sure that Everything's in there. You're gonna make sure your absorbers are there. And then you're gonna grab your little wet wipe here and wipe down your device. And then you're gonna take your dust absorber sticker and you're going to make sure that there's no dust anywhere on the device so that you don't have any issues with any dust or anything like that. So you make sure everything gets off there really good. Whitestone Dome does a great job giving you what you need so that you don't have any dust. Okay, and then you wanna take this little sticker here. This is gonna cover your speaker at the top of your phone. I took off the pin because this wasn't going on the speaker. So we're gonna go ahead and place this here. And then we're gonna use this pin to kind of put it on the speaker so that it's protected. And then we'll put the pin back. Next step is you're gonna take your little bridge 
put it over the device like this and then you can grab your glue and you want to screw the colored one first this goes here and then you want to unscrew here and you're gonna let this kind of go onto the device for 30 seconds so all the glue comes out so you just let that do its thing for about 30 seconds all right after that uh, glue comes out for 30 seconds you're just gonna take your bridge out put that to the side and then the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna put your pin at the top and then what I do is I like to put this to the side so I can kind of control uh, pushing down the glue to the center and then you're gonna grab your one of your screen protectors right here okay and you're going to undo the sticker on the back make sure you don't touch it and then you're simply gonna place it here at the bottom and then let it just sit on your pen like there and then that looks pretty good and then and then the next step you're gonna do is you're going to push down on your guide so that that glue bubble goes to the middle right here and then you're gonna let go of your pen so we're gonna go ahead and go all the way down to the middle right about there and then we're gonna let out the pin and then that's gonna cover the entire device and you're gonna let it dissipate or spread throughout the thing to it's completely covered the whole thing let it take its time it takes about anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds to go through the whole entire screen all right after it dissipates you're going to wait about 60 to 100 seconds and then you're going to put this on the bottom of the screen this is for the fingerprint reader okay so you're going to put this down here on the bottom for about 30 seconds so that it, it kind of pushes down and i'm going to show you another tip um, after i take it out um, that will help the fingerprint reader work even better all right, what you're gonna do next is take your light and you're gonna do 15 seconds to the top, 15 seconds to the middle, 15 seconds to the bottom. And you're simply gonna push this button once and then do, do its work. All right, after it's done, you're gonna go ahead and take it out. So you wanna make sure that you can pop it out should come out pretty easily on the top and bottom put your guide to the side and then you're gonna take your wet wipe and wipe around the edges to get any kind of glue or adhesive or anything like that and then you're going to take off your stickers here on each side and then you're gonna wipe it again make sure there's no glue on each side and then what I like to do is I like to push down on the middle where the fingerprint is which is about a finger and a half up and I hold that down for about 30 seconds that's a little tip little inside info so that you can get that fingerprint working perfectly yeah Whitestone Doe gives you that little white weight but this kind of helps out you hold your finger here about 30 seconds or so and make sure that fingerprint is getting the proper response that you need when you set it up then you're going to take your light again and then this time you're going to take a little bigger step this time you're going to do 60 seconds to the top and bottom but you're going to do it twice so top and bottom 60 each then top and bottom 60 each twice so you, the way you get the light for 60 seconds is you double tap the button. All right, once you're done with the UV light, go ahead and turn it off. 
then we're just gonna wipe down our device one more time just to make sure there's no glue anywhere on this bad boy and then we are going to wipe it down here on the screen and as you can see this looks like a pretty good install we're gonna pop this open and I already have the touch sensitivity on here uh, for the fingerprint so that it's very sensitive so when you do use the fingerprint do the fingerprint and it looks like the fingerprint works but I'm probably gonna do the reinstall the um, the fingerprint so that we can get it going here so we're gonna go to touch sensitivity to make sure everything is on and that's on and then we'll go to fingerprint and we'll reset it we're gonna register that bad boy and and I like to register it twice the same finger that way you you can uh, make sure you know the more the merrier that's what I say and I turn the device like this I don't know if that helps the fingerprint work more but hey we'll do it we're gonna add another one all right so now it's done we're gonna go ahead and try the fingerprint again boom now it works pretty good obviously it work I think I personally think I have face unlock on here too so we're gonna take my face away from here and then we're gonna do this oh yeah that's how you know it. you that's how you know it's working if you could do it with the screen off oh yeah that's how you know the the fingerprints are working good so that'll do it that is the white stone dome for the samsung galaxy s24 ultra now the anti-reflective is gone you're not going to get it with the white stone dome it'd be nice if they did this is very shiny very reflective um, but you have a hell of a screen protector on here that's going to be really good and we're going to try the s pen here and let's create a note here we go white stone dome yeah it works perfect android stud boom yep that's gonna do it man i'm android stud thanks so much for watching you're watching youtube and this has been the whitestone dome for the samsung galaxy s24 ultra i hope you enjoyed the video just follow those all those steps um it can be nerve-wracking but i believe in you talk to you guys later